What's going on guys? Joe here for Gamer Toys. I'm back after about a month, but um, I've acquired a lot of cool stuff, so hopefully I will be able to have enough content, at least for a little while, until you know the toy shows start rearing up and I can start getting back in the swing of things. Haven't had a whole lot of time for Gamer Toys, and I know that sucks. Let's get started. First up, I'm gonna start with this. I found the Star Wars Black Series Han Solo from the new uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. This figure is pretty sweet. I'm a, I keep looking, I keep looking at the microphone. I love that they're using that new uh, face, that new face scan technology or whatever it's called, I'm not sure. But um, I think the figure looks great. It's a good likeness to Alden. In the back, nice little bio with uh, his picture right there. I'm sure you guys have seen these. I picked him up. I'm still looking for Lando and that sweet looking Stormtrooper with like the huge Robocop feet and like the scarf, whatever he's called. He looks awesome and I want one. But so far we got Solo. The last few things here, Jurassic World Legacy line. I was excited to find these. You know, I had hit up Ted Brothers on Instagram and I had asked him what his pegs look like the day that he went out. And uh, he said they were pretty full. So, you know, I was kind of hoping that they still were going to be full by the time I got there, which the one Target I went to hadn't put anything out yet. So I went to another Target. They had stuff put out, but it was pretty much picked over, and I grabbed what I could. I got some good stuff, but um, I'm still looking for Ellie. But I snagged Dr. Alan Grant. I like it that he came with a copy. But I kind of, the nostalgic part of me wants him to come with, not necessarily a pterodactyl, but to come with, you know, some other kind of hatchling, not a compy. But it's still cool. Um, you know, compies were in the novel. So now you could have, you know, more novel accurate, I suppose. In the back here shows a picture of him with uh, compies kind of all over him, which is kind of cool. And he comes with, I'm assuming that's the flare gun. It looks like a flare gun, I'm not sure. I'm happy to have this Grant, he looks awesome. Two out of three here, because like I said, I still need Ellie. I picked up Robert Muldoon, who looks pretty sweet. He also comes with a compy in a different pose, mind you. Robert Muldoon comes with his, uh, his signature shotgun there that he had in the movie, which is awesome. And uh, there's a picture of him on the back covered in compies. So it looks like if you get all three figures, you can cover him in compies though I'm not sure compies kind of look like they're humping them but that's all right it still looks cool the packaging is all right I don't love it but I don't hate it as much as I love the t-rex I probably could have done without the t-rex on the card there I think it would have been cool if they did the gate and they just had the Jurassic Park logo up there Mattel is still killing it I can't believe that cat that cat just straight up meowed he does not respect my video Tell is still killing it because if you go out there now, if you're lucky you can find stuff, but I haven't seen these since I picked them up. So Robert Muldoon, still looking for Ellie. And I don't even know how many of these were on the shelf, but this was the last one when I was there. So I picked it up and this is the, of course, the Bush Devil Tracker, or they're just calling it now the Jeep Wrangler here, which is pretty sweet looking. Um, it comes with the actual working winch, which is pretty sweet. And uh, it shows Ellie and Grant in the Jeep there, so you can kind of see for scale. They seem like they fit pretty well. It has the stickers already applied, the Jurassic Park sticker number 18. It's got stickers for tail lights, the license plate, and the headlights are also stickers, if you can see that there. Um, the inside of the vehicle is pretty sweet. It's cool overall. I'm really happy to have this. It's definitely smaller than the Kenner one, but of course, these are three and three quarter inch action figures. The Kenner line were closer to five. It's the same packaging, even though this is done by Matchbox and uh, not Mattel, but it's still sweet. It was one of the things I really wanted, and I hope Matchbox does the Jungle Cruiser, please. Or the Jungle Explorer, whatever you want to call it. Last but not least, this, this is my baby. The Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. This guy is pretty sweet. He's got a button right here on his head. Rah, 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 rah. See his tail is up in there. You got to put that tail on yourself. It's just a cool box. Shows on the back here. Um, fully assembled on the back right here. And it says head and neck articulation. It's kind of weird, but it only shows Grant and Muldoon down here. It doesn't show Ellie. Or no, that's a flare. 
So I didn't even notice right here, it's got a picture of Alan Grant holding a flare. Now, if I remember correctly, because I just, just kind of looked at it, why doesn't our Grant figure come with a flare? Anyway, this is awesome. These two right here are my favorite pickups out of all this stuff. So we got the, the Tracker, the Legacy T-Rex, Alan Grant and the Muldoon, and of course, the Han Solo that I picked up. I'm so excited that uh, Jurassic Park is just kind of back in the toy aisles and being pretty popular because it's being bought up quick. So get out there if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.